Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here. Nice, I have that record. I have that intro down pat. And today we are playing the Golden Chalice of Karast. A not a direct sequel to Knights of Drabonia, but pretty close. Um, I was actually supposed to be a beta tester on this map, fun fact. But um, my work schedule kind of prevented me from having time to do this. And then YouTube, it, it was a mess. So the so the, so the uh, owner was like, hey, you can, we'll just uh, call it good. And he's like, okay, thank you. Now I don't feel guilty. So I've got everything all set up. Uh, don't cheat. Please note, I give them credit, of course. I'd be more than happy to give them credit. Optifine, yes. Building credits, need help. No, I don't need help. Um, press the adventure to start the adventure. Please note. There is an issue with Minecraft that causes village to somehow not times appear visibly. If this happens to you, log out and log back in. It'll fix the issue. Before starting the adventure, we just need to ensure that you're not using Forge. The adventure map is not tested with Forge and was built for vanilla Minecraft only. I wouldn't even know how to start Forge. In addition, we need to ensure that you're using Optifine and the custom resource pack as this adventure map was built around these two features being used. I have that all set up. If you're not using Optifine, and the custom resource pack, we encourage you to log out and install both of them so that you can enjoy the map the way it was intended. You now need to let us know if you're ready to use... Okay, I am... I need to start. I'm ready to start. A block was placed. Go ahead and press the button one final time. Ooh, nice. We're setting up the map, ready for you to enjoy your adventure, so please be patient while we set the approximate settings. Once we finish this task, we will let you know and you'll be able to recover the Golden Chalice and save Princess Al Al Alisar. So basically, I'm, I haven't uh, uploaded in a while because I'm coming off of the Diamond Sword, or not the Diamond Sword, Journey for the Enchanted Crest. Oh, it's ready to start. So just really quick, I'm sorry I haven't, I haven't um, had time really because right after I finished a Journey, or the Journey for the Enchanted Crest, it was pretty much Ju it was pretty much the Fourth of July, and I was kind of burnt out from recording because I've been doing it like every day right after work, and I worked like sixty hours last week, so I was just burnt out. Oh, hey, cool. Nice. Okay, I get the point. I'm gonna... Wow. Thank you. Greetings and salutations, friends. I trust you're well rested after defeating the Ender Dragon. It's not a direct sequel to the game, the previous game, but whatever. Thank you for answering my call for help. I shall explain the problem is. A few weeks ago, my eldest daughter, Alusar, Al Alusar, was on a hunting trip north of Candlekeep in Farron when she was bitten by a cockatrice. In case you're unaware, the cockatrice is an eerie hybrid of a lizard cockerel and bat an infamous for the ability to turn flesh to stone with a bite priest medics herbologist and the grandmaster Vel veliki have tried to in in cure alisar but with no success alusar alisar we have tried everything but alas poor alisar is slowly turning to stone and fading before our eyes in a matter of weeks she will be too late my youngest daughter tanta tana and my chief advisor have ensured me that the golden chalice of Kurast Kurast we can, can save Al Alucer. I need to travel to Karast and recover the Golden Chalice and return to me. And the Princess and the Grandmaster will both accompany you. I suggest you speak to both of them before you leave for the docks. Take a ship to Karast. I suggest you grab some items from the chest. When you're ready to travel, let me know. You tell the King you'll be back shortly and see what items are in the chest. Ooh, cool. Um, steak. And some potions. Okay, um, this is actually the second time I've tried to go through this map. Oh, nice. Uh, the first time I did it, something awful happened. I don't know what. And I got stuck right here. Like, talking to the king. Excellent, you look much better equipped now. If you're ready, the carriage will take you to the docks where you can meet up with Princess Tanzelite and the Grandmaster Veckley on the ship. I am ready to leave now. Not like I have a choice. Thank you for helping, friend, and good luck on your quest for the Golden Chalice of Crass. My daughter's life is in your hands. You tell him you won't fail her and leave for the carriage that will take you to the docks. I assume through here? Whoa! What's up? Uh, 
Um, I am most appreciative for helping with this quest. If you need to know anything before you ride the crest, I suggest you speak to the Grand Master. Before we arrive in Crest, I'll explain a few things, so if you please pay attention to what I'm about to say, because if you don't, you will likely struggle on your travels. I'm paying close attention. The Golden Chalice of Crest, to give it its full name, is clearly not the cup of a carpenter. However, it is a great religious importance and prized possession of the Conclave. The... Oh, God. It's one of the three ancient orders that exist in Crest. A thousand years ago. The heart of the order is said to be the Golden Chalice of Crast. The ancient scriptures say a visitor came to Crast before the sun had risen and stayed over 100 years before he just vanished. And whilst he was there, he founded the Silis Conclave. Although nobody knows where he went, he left behind his writings and the Golden Chalice. They say that the chalice has magical properties. Anyone that drinks gains near immortality. It is our hope that if you visit the Selenius Conclave and borrow the chalice from them, we can cure Princess Alusair and return the chalice to them afterward. You'll find the Selene Conclave not too far from Old Bourne City, and its road leads to... Yes, Princess Tanzelite and myself will go on the royal summer retreat at the palace called Sandy Coast. If you need any help, you can visit us there. Take the Tome of Teleportation that I have it will allow you to teleport directly to sandy cove when used will save you a lot of time good luck adventure and be careful as our reports inform us there's some strange evil powers at large so expect a lot of monsters on your travels we've arrived now so i will teleport you to the docks and save you having to find your way off the ship good luck wow easiest quest ever so i got that Tome of Teleportations and a map. What's the map? Oh, I gotta exit to view the map. Oh, some I got some money. I got a map and a Tome of Teleportation. So, um, HMS tried it sales weekly. So, if I remember anything about this map in particular. The yellow exclamation parks? I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we had a good battle raid. Be careful what you wish for. Let me tell ya. Karma! She's a bitch! So if I remember anything from the Knights of, Dr of Drobnovia, and I'm assuming this is made in a similar fashion. And this... Um, ooh, I like that. Make sure you have Optifine to get... Okay, whatever. I'm going to assume this is made in a similar fashion, in which case we're looking for a red exclamation point. Good luck, adventurer. The princess and I will go on to you'll find not too far from Oldborn City. It's on the road that leads to Belenice. Okay, so I need to find the road that leads to like Belenice, and I'm probably and I do apologize if any of the map creators are watching this. I humbly apologize that I am butchering about every name in this game. Your spawn point here, optional. I uh, might as well take it. I asked the blacksmith in Waterdeep for arrows to kill a dragon. His response, would you like a bow that shoots unicorns or a that dispenses beer? <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, so... I have no clue where I'm at. Really cool area, though. Get back here. Thank you. Loris. I need to find the road out of here. Wait, why am I not looking at a map here? Give me one moment. Okay, so thank God I have a dual screen here. So basically, what it's looking like here, and the map is absolutely huge. Six Merchant Road. I need to... There's a bridge that leads out of town... I need to follow that bridge, and it should get me heading towards my location here. So there should be a bridge. A bridge around somewhere. Okay, cottages. I need to find a water source. There's basically going to be a river. I need to cross that river. 
Wow, this is just an exquisite map. Okay, river, bridge. Alrighty, we're in business. We are in business. Now, if you guys would like me to do some side quests and, you know, do, uh, yeah, if you guys would like me to do some side quests, uh, let me know. I'll be more than happy to cover, um, cover as many side quests as you want along with the main storyline. But, um, for the time being right now, the, the general plan is to proceed right on with the storyline as best I can and complete it in as uh, timely as a manner as possible. If you'd like me to, you know, keep things nice and slow, uh, really, like, take my time, enjoy the map, I will be, of course, more than happy to accommodate. Oldborn City. I'm still in Oldborn City. Fully automated station. Nice! Where do I want to go? Um, none of these are really on my way, unfortunately. Action City. Oh, wow, that is way the hell out of my way. Previx? I don't... Prev... Previx? Yeah, neither of those are really on my way. They're kind of off in the distance. Yes, 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 you're welcome. I'm still looking. I think this road will loop up. And I should actually find another road here. Colt hoarding cells in... National Prison? Holy crap. People are brutal. No. Bellinese. There we go. Hey, a bandit! Die, you dicks! Oof. That was a pretty decent frame rate drops here. There we go. We're kind of back in a decent-ish place. I do apologize for the lag. I'm... I am gonna get a new computer here pretty soon. Like, I'm setting aside two grand for a streamer. And, of course, I will, like, do a cool spotlight of that. I've actually got a whole bunch of friends helping me on that. Um, Nathan, my friend Naj Nathan, Nathan slash Naj, he's going to be assisting me. Um, his brother Adam... I think I'm going to try and get those two to spec it out for me, and then I have my Rise Up in Numbers, one of my other managers. His brother is actually apparently good at building it, so I'm actually going to be getting a considerable amount of help with this, since I myself am not a very techie computer person. Mildly unfortunate. I wish I was way better at that, but I just don't have the time. Um, oh. The uh, Conclave. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the episode right here. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. And I really appreciate, like, all the support I've been getting on the channel recently. But I'm going to end the episode right here. When we head, when we come back, we're actually going to head right into the Conclave, and we'll continue on with our adventure. Thank you guys so much. This has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. <laughs>